Welcome to another episode of Software Explorations, Concepts, and Overviews hosted by yours truly, Tech Coach Ralph, where we are nothing but engineer to win on this channel. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing the role of Cloud Security Engineer. So um, it is Cybersecurity Week, as I have deemed it, and last month we talked about the identity and access management role and we're going to follow that up with another role in cybersecurity called cloud security engineering so let's go and you know let's not waste any time let's jump right into the topic du jour all right so like i said our topic is cloud security engineering so what is our agenda for today? We are going to find out what the hell is cloud security in the first place. Then we're going to discuss the key components of cloud security engineering, the roles of a cloud security engineer, their responsibilities, their skills and their qualifications, the certifications that they may need. And then we're going to look at some examples and some case studies, and then we will dive into some potential career paths. All right. So what is cloud security? All right. Cloud security refers to a to the set of policies and technologies, applications and control. <clears throat> Cloud security refers to the set of policies, technologies, applications and controls implemented to protect data applications and the associated infrastructure in cloud computing environments. Cloud security involves safeguarding against a range of potential threats and risks, including unauthorized access, data breaches, data loss and service inter service disruptions. So if you are familiar with our show on Fridays, the bug bite, we deal with a lot of unauthorized access, data breaches, data loss and service disruptions that companies, huge companies face on a, you know, on a recurring basis. And we discuss what are some strategies that they could have implemented to prevent these from happening. So that is on the bug bite. And, you know, that is directly related to cloud security, you know, um, and, Cyber and cloud security is a huge part of cybersecurity. So what are some key components of cloud security, right? So as we discussed um, in a video that seems to be very popular with you guys, the identity and access management engineer role. So identity and access management is a huge, it's probably the first key component of cloud security. Um, so a company can have a, an, an identity and access manager or engineer role or they can incorporate that into the cloud security. The cloud security, it just depends, right? There's data encryption, there's network security, there's application security, you know? So there's one, there's network security that prevents access to the network. And then there's application security, which is another layer that um, what kind of access it is to the applications that are in use. There is security compliance. There is incident response and management, physical security, security monitoring and logging, security patching and updates, and then our good old friend, which could have helped 23 and me. So who are cloud security engineers? So cloud security, <clears throat> so cloud security engineers are professionals who specialize in securing and protecting the data applications and infrastructure in cloud computing environments. These engineers play a crucial role in safeguarding organizations against various cyber threats and vulnerabilities associated with cloud technologies. So the cloud security engineers, they primarily focus on the cloud infrastructure. So that would be including um, whether you're using Google Cloud Platforms, uh, um, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, or any other um, infrastructure that your company uses. You know, so uh, they, they are on the front lines that are keeping the company data and company employees safe from harm. So what are some of the responsibilities of the cloud security engineers, right? So it is a, it's a long list, right? So including what we mentioned in the, in the key components, right? These are some of the responsibilities that the, the, the cloud security engineers have in particular, right? So they have to be experts in cloud platforms, right? That's a given because if you're a cloud security engineer, you should be an expert in the cloud platforms. If your company focuses on like one cloud, then you can be an expert in that cloud. But I would highly recommend that you get familiar with at least Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Google Cloud Platform, and the um, and of course Amazon Web Services. 
they need to have a good grasp of security architecture design because you need to know how to implement and build um, a secure system, right? They need to be well-versed in risk assessment and management. You know, they need to be able to see what the risks are, how to properly navigate it, how to manage those risks. They need to be experts in compliance management um, because based on the industry that you're in, there's going to be tons and tons of compliance regulations. Uh, you know, if you're in healthcare, you got to deal with HIPAA. Um, you have to deal with, um, you know, if you're in the pharmaceutical industry, there's there's things to deal with um, with FDA regulations and things like that. And 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 financial, uh, if you're in the financial industry, so many different regulations, right? Then the cloud security engineers, they must be able to collaborate with the, the information technology and the development people, right? Because while we in, in, in the software development side um, point of view, right, we're, we're developing the software, but the, the, the cloud security engineers, they also need to lend some insight into what we need to do to properly secure um, our software so that, uh, you know, hackers aren't able to get in. So, you know, they are providing us the insight for that. And then cloud security um, engineers, they have to continue learning because the threats are going to keep coming, right? So they need to be to stay up with the times. They need to protect themselves, they need to protect the, the the clients, the customers, the company, the employees. So, you know, they have they have a lot on their plate. So they need to stay up to date. They need to continuously be learning, go to conferences, go to go to events, um, stay up on their certifications. Um, you know, like they just need to be well read in the whole to see what's going on with other companies and what we need to do. You know, being up to date with like, okay, what security patches are coming out what updates to the applications that are like to the, the to the um, software libraries, all that stuff, right? So then you say, okay, there's a there's a critical vulnerability. We need to update this immediately, you know? So those are the type of things that they're looking for. So what are some of the required skills of the cloud security engineer? So with without saying, they need to have knowledge of compliance. They need to be, to be able to figure out what are the security best practices and ways to implement them. They need to be well versed in vulnerability management, you know, um, identifying the vulnerabilities, how to update them, how to prevent them from um, doing us harm. They need to be well versed or, or decently versed in scripting and automation because um, automation is the future. Uh, it just we just can't keep doing things manually. They need to be um, they need to be well versed in container security, like so if they're using um, Docker containers or Kubernetes or something like that. They need to make sure that those those containers are secure, have the necessary tool necessary tools to run um, scan scans and tests on those containers to make sure that uh, there's no data leak and stuff like that. There's no entry points. Then they need to also be well versed in web application security because you can have a secure container, but if your web application that that's running that's being ran on that container isn't secure, then you still have a problem. So they need to. They, there are many many layers, right, from the network layer to the container layer to the web application layer, they need to make sure that that is secure, All right? So what are some of the qualifications for a cloud security engineer, okay? So they need to have the proper education, right? Uh, and you know, um, it, depends, it depends how the education comes, but to me, I would say your best bet with the being a cloud security engineer is to have um, a college degree, right? Um, university, college degree, um, that doesn't mean that you have to go spend a bunch of money at some four year degree. You can go, you can start off in community college and then you can finish off at a state college, right? Whatever the case may be, but that would be the best bet. But, you know, I'm sure that uh, some people can make it into um, as well through boot camps and stuff like that. But, you know, I say always put yourself in the best position to win. Then you also, along the way, you want to get your necessary cert certifications. Don't go chasing certifications just to have them, but. Along, your, along the way, as you learn the software, you also want to get your certifications so that you can um, so that you can have the necessary paperwork to it. Just streamline the process, right? Then you also want to build experience. How do you build experience, right? So I, I think my good friend Sox would say, "Hey, you want to build your home lab. You want to um, you want to be able to get logs that you're going to read. Um, you know, so so many different things. Like the things that you're learning." You're going to want to put them into practice, right? So um, 
it, it's sometimes like when you're just coming into the field, it's not easy to to get experience if if you, you're not in a company. But there are different ways that you can build your own experience. All right. So uh, and that's something that we can always strategize and discuss uh, in a future in the future, right? And you want to get industry knowledge. What's going on in the industry at other companies? At um, what are they dealing with? How did they handle it? How did they prevent stuff? You know. So you know maybe that's going through to conferences different security conferences, things like that, all right? And then you want to, like like we mentioned earlier, continuous learning, always staying up to date, not falling behind. Um, you know, if if this isn't a hobby, this is this is a way of life, right? Being se- Like having security is a way of life. So you always want to be stay up to date. Um, be in the networks of people who are, who are um, talking about this stuff. Um, and, and, you know, read articles, read books. Um, just... Network effectively, right? And and that's how you continuously learn to be able to be in the best position possible. And then you want to get hands-on experience. Um, build something. I always say, go like whatever you learn, go out there and do it. Build something. Don't just have the theoretical knowledge, but have the practical knowledge that you can actually talk about something that you did. Because at the end of the day, nobody cares about the theory that you that you have. Like the theory is important, but just the theory that you have that you're just regurgitating, we don't really care about that, right? We want hands-on experience. Show what show us your work, right? Show your work, okay? All right. So, what are some of the certifications that a cloud security engineer should gather? I'm, I see. I'm not going to say some of the certifications that they should pass, right? I'm going to say some of the, the certification that they should gather along the way, right? As you're learning, you also want it, you want to go out there and get those certifications. They are going to be a byproduct that will help you, but those are not the goal because so many people, they just want to chase certifications, but they have no practical knowledge whatsoever. And I think that is where we fail the most, right? And some people, they just, they, just, they just love taking tests. They just love paperwork. But at the end of the day, the paperwork, it, 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 it goes as far as you can actually do what it says you can do, right? So you might, be, you might get a job with all your, your certifications, but then when it's actually time to do the work, you know absolutely nothing. And it is totally... It, you can't even wipe, you know what, with it, right? So what are some of the certifications to gather along the way? You want the Certified Information System Security Professional, CISSP. That'll come in very ha- handy. You would like the Certified Cloud Security Professional, CCSP, right? Very, very useful. The AWS Certified Security Specialty, right? Microsoft Certified Azure Security Engineer Associate. Google Cloud Professional Security Engineer, right? So the last three, they're very specific to the platform, but I, I'll tell you this, if you can get all three, that'll make you that, that'll make your 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 worth in the industry just skyrocket, right? Because that means you are you you are certified on all three platforms and you know and you should know how to navigate around. If you just studied to pass a test, then you know you're not that useful. But if you if you were able to pass these certs by actually using the 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 tools and building something. That, that's that's worth more than gold, right? So the first two, those are those are going to be um, those are going to be for like um, overall, right? You want those overall because getting the the general certified cloud security professional and the certified information security system security professional, great. But then the other three are also very useful because they are specific to the platform. So now, not only that you have the general certification, but you also have certifications. Specific to the platform, so whatever wherever you go, whatever they because some companies use more than one, right? Some companies might use AWS and, and Google Cloud um, platform. Others may use Microsoft and AWS. Some might use Microsoft and Google. Who knows what the combination? Some use all three, right? So you having it, it just makes you that more dynamic, that more dangerous. All right. So what are some of the technologies that you would be using as a cloud security engineer? So as we already know, the cloud platforms. Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, Amazon Web Services, they are in no particular order, but you know, those are what you're going to need. For the identity and access management tools, you would most likely be using Okta, as well as maybe some other ones that we we, we spoke about in the identity and access management um, role presentation that we had a month ago. You might be using Ping Identity, right? For some network security tools, you would be working with firewalls, security groups, Right. Uh, if you've watched in our Terraform, and you see, and that's the thing, right? With with everything that we do, there's some parts of it, right? So, for example, when we when we're working through Terraform on our on our Terraform live streams, right? We're we're setting up security groups. We just did that recently. We're setting up virtual private networks. Um, there's VPNs, uh, you know, and then so 
under the network security tools, firewalls, VPNs, cloud native security, right? For the same solutions, right? We would have Splunk, Azure, you might have, um, you might have, what is the name of that other one? Um, Sumo Logic, right? Um, different, different ones that, that are out there. And, and we are going to do a, a live stream. We're going to be setting up a, um, you might have Grafana, an open source one, right? On the live stream, we're probably going to be setting up Grafana to, log, to intake some logs. And then, okay, some more technologies, encryption technologies, right? AWS Key Management Service, Azure Key Vault, HashiCorp Vault. HashiCorp is the one who makes Terraform that we've been going through on Sunday afternoons. Uh, so definitely tune into those live streams. Then for vulnerability management tools, there's Quails, there's Ten Tenable Nessus, right? And then for web application security tools, there's, there's um, AWS WF for web application firewalls. There's Azure web application firewalls. For container security, there's Docker security um, scanning. There's Kubernetes pod security policies. Um, you know, so, so many, like so. What does that say, right? So many different technologies that you're going to have to get familiar with to be a cloud security engineer. So that's why I never understand how can you learn all of this stuff and be well versed in it in six months, right? Like you say, you want entry level, but this is way. But this is like high school. That like not even high school. Like it's because it's so much to learn. And they're trying to cram it all in in like six months where you need the time and you need to get familiar with these tools, right? Because just because you did it in, in, one, like in, in one module, one session of a, of a course, that doesn't mean you know it, right? And you want companies to, to, to um, take that risk on you and you're not, you're not really familiar with the tools. It doesn't work that way. So I say that you need to put your heads down and you need to build stuff with these tools and get very, very familiar with it. So when you go into that interview, right? You can properly articulate yourself, show that you know how to do the work, and that you, and you can make the people say, "Wow, yeah, this person, they're they're serious, right? They are serious, and we would love to work with them." But if if you just get these certifications and then you don't actually figure out how to use these softwares, how to use these technologies, which is a massive list, then you are going to put yourself behind the eight ball, and it is going to be a long, tough, painful, and expensive ride for you, right? So some more technologies: endpoint protection. CrowdStrike, um, CrowdStrike, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, for some CI CD tools, GitLab CI CD, Jenkins, Circle CI, Stoner Cube to, to do some scanning, right? And then for the CSPM tools, we have Trend Micro um, Cloud One for conformity, Prisma Cloud, formerly Twistlock, and then for Store, there's Dem Isto. And guess what? I don't know what most of these things, most of these things are. I don't know what CSPM stands for, but guess what? Like if I, if I was going to become a cloud security engineer, I would have to learn these things and I would have to put my heads down. You would not see me for a while because I would be 100% locked into figuring out how to use these tools, how to implement them, and to know them like the back of my hand, right? And it's not to get certifications. It's so I can do the job, so I can wow the people that I work with, right? That's, that's always the goal. Make them say wow. You know, like Master used to say, make them say, oh, we want to make them say wow. All right, so more, the, the list doesn't stop, does it? Some more technologies, right? Web application firewalls, Imperva web application firewall, Cloudflare web application firewall, and then for some security training and awareness, we need to go to no before. Not no after, no before, okay? So no before. And then some cloud native security services, there's AWS Guard Duty, and there's Azure Security Center. Whew, that is a long, long list. So is cloud security engineering for you because it is a lot of work you know uh we're gonna get to how much they pay but can you make it to, to can we even make it there because this this list of technologies never end let's see what comes next okay so it's it, it's over all right so let's see so let, what are some case studies and examples for um cloud security engineers like what are some things that they'll go through right so let's let's go through one of them or, or let's go through, through all three but let's, let's start with the first one right Securing cloud infrastructure for a financial institution, all right? So, so the scenario, a multinational financial institution decides to, to migrate its infrastructure to the cloud for scalability and cost efficiency because it is super expensive to, to have on-prem on um, data centers, you know? So that's why so many people are going to the cloud, but going to the cloud does have its risk, okay? So the cloud security engineer is tasked with ensuring the security of sensitive financial data and compliance with industry regulations. So the question is, if you are interested in being a cloud security engineer, are you willing to take on the risks to secure 
sensitive financial data, and compliance with industry regulations. Because guess what? There's no mis making mistakes in this part, right? You want the big bucks, you have to be able to secure So you want the big bucks, you have to be able to secure the sensitive financial data of millions of people and to comply with the industry regulations, right? So what are, what are going to be the responsibilities of the cloud security engineer, right? So they're going to be tasked with designing a secure architecture for the financial application on AWS, implementing strong identity and access management controls to restrict access to authorized personnel only. So with the, the, the identity and access manager, or management engineer, they might implement what the cloud security engineer um, builds out, like saying, okay, this is the architecture we're going to find, or the cloud security engineer might do it themselves. It depends, right? It just depends. But I, I would assume for a financial institution with the regulations that they have to deal with, they might need separation of duties. So the cloud security engineer might build out um, how it's going to be. And then the, the, um, and then the, the identity and access manager, um, management engineer is going to put it together, right? Then utilizing encryption for data in, in transit to um, utilizing encryption for data in transit and at rest to protect financial transactions, setting up monitoring and alerting systems to detect unusual activities, conducting regular penetration testing and vulnerability assessments to identify and mitigate potential risk. Right. So these are the these are the responsibilities for this example that the cloud security engineer would have to do if they needed to secure cloud infrastructure for a financial institution, right? And then what are the expected outcomes, right? The financial institution successfully migrates to the cloud with enhanced security measure, uh, measures, ensuring the confidentiality and the integrity of customer financial data. Compliance with financial regulations is, man, is maintained and the organization can confidently scale its operations. So that would be a win-win situation. But Whew, that is that that is some serious work they're going to have to do, right? So let's move on to the next example: the cloud security incident response for a healthcare provider. So what's our scenario? Okay, a healthcare provider using Microsoft Azure experiences a security incident involving unauthorized access to patient records. Big big problem there, right? Especially with HIPAA regulations and everything. The cloud security engineer is called upon to investigate the incident, contain the breach, and implement measures to prevent further occurrences, okay? So what are the responsibilities of the CSE in this, in this um, situation, okay? So the, the cloud security engineer is going to be conducting a thorough investigation to determine the scope and the impact of the security incident. And then they're going to be implementing immediate containment measures to prevent further unauthorized access. So get those hackers out of there, all right? And then they're going to be collaborating with the Azure Security Center to analyze logs and identify the source of the breach. How the hell did they get into our systems, right? And then they're going to be enhancing security configurations and access controls to mitigate vulnerabilities. You know, they're going to be researching to see where this, how, how, how bad is the fallout? That's how they say, that's how they say in, in, in these TV shows, right? Then they're going to be updating the, re the incident response plans and providing staff training on recognizing and reporting security incidents, right? So what is our expected outcome, our desired outcome for this scenario? The cloud security engineer successfully contains the security incident, restores the integrity of patient data, and implements proactive measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. The healthcare provider strengthens its security posture and demonstrates a commitment to patient data protection. So here's my question for you. What if a breach is discovered at three o'clock in the morning? What are you going to do then? Right? What are you going to do? Because that's your job. You are on call 24 seven as a cloud security engineer, especially the higher up you go, the more, the more responsibility with great power comes great responsibility. So keep that in mind as the cloud security engineer, that these are the responsibilities that you're putting on your shoulder, you know, um, is it worth it to you, right? For me, I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing. But, you know, some people, like if you are just chasing the dollars, trust me, you're not going to get the big bucks without the big work, okay? So let's go to our last case study. Secure cloud uh, migration for a technology company, all right? So what is our background? What is our scenario? 
a technology company decides to migrate its infrastructure from a on-prem data center to Google Cloud Platform. The company seeks to leverage the benefits of the cloud while maintaining robust security. So what is the cloud security engineer's role in this migration? So the cloud security engineer has to conduct a comprehensive risk assessment to identify potential security challenges. They have to design and implement a secure architecture on Google Cloud Platform, including proper network segmentation and firewall configurations. They have to implement strong identity and access controls using the Google Cloud Identity and Access Management, right? So all the platforms have their own IAM setup, right? They need to ensure that encryption in transit and at rest using the Google Cloud Platform encryption services. So they also have to set up continuous, continuous monitoring with Google Cloud Security Command Center to detect and respond to security threats immediately, all right? So what is our expected outcome, right? What is our expected outcome? The technology company successfully migrates to Google Cloud Platform with minimal, keyword, minimal disruption and achieves improved scalability and performance. The cloud, the cloud security engineers proactively security measures ensure the confidentiality and integrity of sensitive data in the cloud. And guess what? A lot of these cloud engineers, they work in the middle of the night because they need to do migrations, they need to do stuff. They have to keep they have to like find out when the least risk is. Sometimes it's at like, you know, four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And then they have to go ahead and and rally the troops and get the work done, right? So I want you guys to remember this. Real world case studies often involve proprietary and sensitive information. So public examples might be limited. However, cloud service providers and cybersecurity organizations sometimes publish anonymized case studies that highlight successful cloud security implementations. It's a good idea to explore resources from cloud providers, industry publications, and cybersecurity conferences for more detailed and real world examples. So if I were you, if you're interested in this type of work, I would definitely go and do some searching of more case studies to find out what's going on around the industry. So you can be well-versed and you can have ideas of the things that you're going to be getting into, all right? So with that being said, what are some challenges and trends that cloud security engineers face, right? So CSEs face a dynamic landscape of um, characterized by both challenges and evolving trends, data security and privacy concerns, complexity of multi-cloud environments, identity and access management risk, shadow IT and unauthorized cloud usage, and so many more challenges that they face, right? But those are just to name a few, especially the shadow IT and unauthorized cloud usage, because you can have people in your organization just doing whatever the hell they want. And you're like, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? We have policies you must abide by, you know? So um, when you find them, you got to reel them in or you got to get rid of them, get, 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 or you have to get them the hell out of there, right? So now let's talk about the dollars, you know? What is the anticipated salary for cloud security engineers, right? So the salary range can vary based on several factors, right? How much experience do you have? Where do you live? What industry are you becoming a cloud security engineer in? And the specific skills possessed by you, by you, right? What skills do you have to become a cloud security engineer, right? So those, those are going to determine the salary um, on an individual basis. But let's talk about on a broad range, right? What is the entry level salary for a cloud security engineer in the United States of America? So from what I've seen, it can go from 80K to 120K, right? But that, trust me, if you are brand, brand new, I do not see you making 120K off the, out the door, right? Especially, especially if you're trying to go from a boot camp, right? It's, it's not that easy, right? Usually with no experience, you're going to be starting from towards the lower end. And um, if you can even get in, right? So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do something to build up some experience, all right? But if you're at the mid-level, that means you have some experience already. So with that experience, that can land you somewhere between the 120s and the 150s. And I see that's as totally being that's totally realistic for the amount of work, for the amount of responsibility, right? Going back to the entry level, it's like you, you're, you're a beginner, you're a noob. So you can't really be trusted yet, right? So I have a hard time seeing you um, getting like out the door because guess what? Entry level does not mean no experience whatsoever. 
entry level means like you might have um, one to three, four or five years of experience, right? But you know, you're still you're still getting more familiar. You're still getting your bearings. Um, like you might be familiar with a couple of 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 um, cloud providers, but you're you're not you're not that familiar yet. But you're not a total noob, right? Like you're not an intern for crying out loud. Um, so it depends. Like let's say let's say you have three to four years of experience, you might be getting closer to that one twenty range. But let's say you are brand brand new, you might not you might not even get to eighty to be honest with you, right? But it is what it is. So it, it is a way to to learn and build experience, all right? So. Now, what about that senior level, that experience part that we also want to be at, right? Well, in that case, you are looking to 150 plus to infinity and beyond. So, you know, and, and I think that it is not unre unreasonable, right? If you put in the work, if you learn that you can easily, in time, get to that 150 plus. But, 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 you do need to be well-versed in and you need to be talented, like, you're not going to get there by by chance, right? You are going to have to put in the work and you can, like you can easily go like you can go way past 150, but are you willing to put in the work and the time to get there, right? Um and as well, like you there's going to be a lot of sleep, sleepless nights throughout this whole process, right? Even at the senior level, there's going to be sleepless nights. Um and imagine if you get to management, that's even whoo, right? But you got to get their education. You got to get the right certifications. You have to get the right experience. The experience. You have to build the right project. So, so many things that you need to do. But I think you can do it if you are focused and if you are dedicated. All right. So, that's it. That is it for our presentation. We we discussed in conclusion. We discussed what is cloud security, the key components of cloud security the role of cloud security engineers, the responsibilities that they bear, right? The skills and the qualifications that they need, the certifications that they should gather along the way, not exclusively, they need to gather it along the way. I can't stress that enough. If you go chasing um, certificates, you're going to be chasing waterfalls, just like TLC mentioned, all right? And then we talked about some, exam some amazing examples and case studies that I would highly recommend that you follow up on yourself to find more, to see, okay, this is what I'm getting myself into. I have to be sure. Don't go spending $100 million on a, on a boot camp and then you're, and then you're just um, looking for jobs all day, all night, and you can't land, it, land anything, right? So do your research. As I always say, do your, question me, right? Question me. Don't believe, every, don't believe what I say. You don't have to believe anything I say, right? Question it. I am just putting the information out there. Like I said, I am a, I am a QA-based engineer, um, but you know, I, I, I know how to research. I know how to put things together. I know how to dabble in and out of different areas. So... I would say that um, I would say that you would definitely want to um, to do that. And then we talked about like you know some potential career paths. We'll talk about that more on a live stream. But with the examples that were get, that were given, you could see like what you could do as a cloud security engineer. We talked about the salaries and all that good stuff. So with that being said, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave me a, a comment. Right? Leave me some. If you have questions, put it in the comments. If you have feedback, if you think I'm totally wrong or you love the presentation. Leave me a comment. Let me know so I can make some more videos like this. If there is a particular, a particular, um, if there's a particular role that you're interested in, let me know. If you want a presentation, let me know. I will get that out there for you. So let's go back to our full screen. So I hope that you found this video super informative, super helpful. Um, you know, I do it for you. Uh, I want to provide you because, like I said. Me and Sox, we would get this question, we would see this question all the time. I want to get into cybersecurity, but I do not know how. So what better way than on Cybersecurity Week to share this information with you, the different roles that are available, everything that they do, right? Because you need, like, as you saw, you need to know a lot, but it's possible if you are dedicated to it, right? Are you willing to put in the work, right? Um, and only a few are going to make it because only a few are willing to go the distance, right? Only a few are willing to be rocky for the things that they really want. Will you go the distance, right? So if you're interested in in in, in um, cybersecurity and cloud security, all that good stuff, then definitely check it out. Start learning, like don't hesitate. Start learning, right? Because guess what? You can start learning for very very cheap, right? There's so many different online courses that you can like buy them on sale, buy them on discount, right? And you pay the monthly fee if that's what you're gonna do, right? And start building stuff, right? So then now when you go to wherever you go to to get your your education. Um, for these things, and you start you start doing the certification. Like, oh, I know this. I've seen this before. I've done that. Not a big deal, right? So you start learning. I say start like start with YouTube, right? 
start like start learning these things on YouTube. Like how do I get familiar with AWS? How do I get familiar with Microsoft Azure? How do I get familiar with um with Google Cloud, right? Oh, how do I get familiar with Splunk? Oh, maybe I can install Grafana instead of Splunk because they, they essentially do the same thing, but let me use an open source one, install that on something, use Docker, right? Get very familiar with all these applications and then start getting start looking into, okay, I need to get certified, right? Can I find some practice tests on certifications? What do I need to know? What do I need to do? Start going through that. Figure these things out and build a very, very detailed plan. If you need help building a detailed plan on how to get to the next step, how to build out a game plan for you to be successful in anything that you choose to do, hit me up. Check me out on the Patreon at www.techcoachroff.dev and we can have a conversation, you know, sign up for a consultation and we can see what I what we can do to get you to the winning step, right? So that being said, I am going to wrap up this video. I hope that you found it super, super informative. And, um, you know, and if you did, go ahead and subscribe. So, <clears throat> and if you found it informative, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can know every single time we go live. Like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. And one more time, if you haven't done so yet, check out the Patreon at www.techcoachroff.dev. But until next time, I hope you find this very, very helpful and hope to hear from you soon. And we are out. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos. Thank you.